Hello and welcome to Illumination Podcast with Nick and Kisma. Today is episode 54 and we are going to be talking about the secrets of energy mastery, how to make energy work for you. Welcome to the Illumination Podcast with Nick and Kisma, bringing you ancient wisdom for modern day success so that you can sparkle just a little bit brighter each and every day. If what you hear speaks to your soul, go ahead and give us a rating and a review in iTunes. You can also find us on SoundCloud and Stitcher. And hey, if there's somebody in your life that you think would enjoy this podcast, go ahead and share it with them. Well, hey there, Nick. What's going on? Uh, I'm excited. You're to, excited? Yeah, as always. I get excited. For the Illumination Podcast? I always get excited And for all podcasting. our listeners out there that we love. We do. We, we love do. our listeners. We so appreciate you. Uh, it's so cool. Yeah, it's fun having a podcast. I. It's funny, though. We were just talking about this where I don't often think of uh, myself as a podcaster. Yeah, it's you like, are a yeah, podcaster. We, I am a podcaster. We are both podcasters. We are podcasting. And today we're talking about energy. So mm. uh, I'm I'm really excited to share some no, things about this. We yeah. love talking about energy. I mean, for those of you that have listened before, you've heard us talk about energy is everything. Energy is consciousness. Consciousness is energy. Consciousness is everything. You know, it goes on and on. But Today is really, really special because I am going to be asking Nick a few questions and he's going to be giving a ton of really cool information on how energy can work for you. And the reason we were inspired to talk about this today is that it was just what, two weeks ago, Nick, you had a really cool special weekend. I did. Yeah. Yeah. We trained what, uh, trained and certified 14 people. 14 people came out to San Diego, met us at the Marriott Del Mar hotel, and you led a certification in energy mastery. It was a two day intensive. Yeah. And, uh, I intensive was definitely the right word for it. You know, a lot happens. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, it's like a trip to India, like a year long trip to India in like two days. In 48 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's really, really exciting. Um, there's a lot that unfolds mm-hmm. over that time. But mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, intensive is the right word. Like I want to call it's not really like a workshop. It's it's definitely more intensive. Yeah. The, our students were here to learn the techniques and tools that we use. And so they can go and help other people as well. So they were actually getting certified to be practitioners. And some of them were here because they're like, well, wait, I just want to know how to manage my own energy. Right. I want to do this for my kids. Exactly. My family, my kids. I want to look younger. I want to stay young. I want to be happier. I want to have more positivity. And, And I guess that's where, you know, my first question starts to dial in for you, Nick, because when we usually talk about energy, we talk about the large spectrum, you know, sort of the macro approach. It's like big and expansive in people's fields and how when we're increasing our frequency, we're increasing the planet. It's all very big and visionary. But yet what you did a couple of weeks ago with with your clients was you taught them tools and processes that I feel like it dialed it in to the micro. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, our, our conversation about this is very universal, Mm -hmm. um, in general, uh, and those higher teachings are so necessary because Mm -hmm. they just, they help to keep everyone just anchored on the highest. Like it is so easy to get sucked down into the weeds, uh, (laughs) you know, with different, you know, differing opinions or stresses and anxieties and things like that, you know, and get just getting really sucked into that part Mm -hmm. that, that, that broad conversation is extremely important and relevant. Mm -hmm. Uh, However, you know, really, if I had to boil it down, like what that weekend was about was bridging the gap. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. How Mm -hmm. can you um, connect to that with more ease and stay more rooted in your higher uh, without getting dragged down by, you know, sucked into other people's negative energy, picking up stuff that's not yours and just basically owning it. And also just the uh, everyday human experience, right? The anxiety of the human condition and what that can do over a period of time if it's not, if you don't have tools to solve that. Well, yeah. And I think that's one of the things that we certainly see. And we talk to many, many people and perhaps those of you listening are running into this, that overwhelm is a really big issue right now. People are feeling overwhelmed. They're feeling scattered. 
lacking focus and and all of those things, you know, when you just think about scattered, lacking focus, overwhelmed, worried, it's so depleting on the energetic bodies of a human. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, because look at look at the energetics behind it. It's like uh, overwhelm. Essentially, what's happening is you've got a lot of things going in a lot of different directions, right? Mm -hmm. You've got, you you know, you might be wearing a ton of different hats. You've got your kids uh, that you're taking to and from, you know, and and trying to get them where they need to be going, managing all the schedules with your color coded charts and everything like that. (laughs) If you're super organized, uh, or just not, you know, mm-hmm. oh, and then you've got your work, your career, you've got your intimate relationship and you've got all these other little things of just like managing and leading your life. Right. And when those things all hit you at once, it's like, I think a lot of times we get into this mode where there's a system that doesn't really work mm. in that, you know, you just kind of go and get it all done. And then it's like that one thing that sets you over the edge and then all of a sudden you're in overwhelm and that starts a downward spiral that can be super destructive. You know, your energy scatters everywhere. So you get really depleted really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, And then you don't, you get ungrounded. And so you're just not really, you can't, seem to regain that sort of presence in your life of Mm -hmm. like, okay, let's, you know, here we go, like this and this and this and let's go. And let me just like when we use this phrase ungrounded, some of I know when I first heard them, like, what does that mean? You know, my feet are on the floor and I'm in my body. uh, So I thought, but when a human gets ungrounded, which happens really easily when there are a lot of external stimuli, right? There's things that just make you feel spacey or scattered, What happens is when you're not grounded, you're not really anchored in your body to resolve what's coming up. And this is something I'll see many, many times with people is like they know there's something off, but they can't be anchored to resolve it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically this, if you're spending a lot of time in front of your computer every day, you're getting ungrounded. Totally. Yes. Just because of all the energy all the mental energy that's needed in order to function right in the online world or just, you know, doing work on a computer, you know, and that kind of tedious work, that's a lot of mental energy. It gets you out of your body. Um, and all of your focus is, you know, up in your head. And so you're not fully embodied in your potential, right? Yeah. Your energy is not fully embodied. And you do that long enough, and the energy in your body is not going to be running correctly. Oh, that's a good and, way to put it. Yeah. And you're going to be having then uh, physical issues, uh, emotional issues that'll come up around that stress, anxiety, overwhelm, things like that. Like all you have to do to to trigger your anxiety or your overwhelm is just go start scrolling down Facebook. <laughs> right? I mean, unless you've been super diligent about how you clean out your feed. Yes, um, I have. You have. Mm-hmm. I have been pretty good mm-hmm. about that. Uh, but you know, the average person, it's just like, it's so, it's just so scattered, right, you know, right. and, and that'll get you ungrounded for mm-hmm. sure. And when, like, that's how I think about it. Like when you're not grounded, you're not really fully embodied. And so that's where a sure sign of it bumping into things. Yeah. Dropping things, forgetting stuff, losing things. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, you walk into the room and then you go off on some, you know, to do something, you go off then on a tangent and a half hour goes by where you did things, but then you leave the room and you're like, oh, I forgot to do that thing that I went in at first. Right, right. right. Why was I here? Like, where did I go? You or know, when you're driving and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I forgot the last 15 minutes of me being on the road. Right. Yeah. That is that is mm-hmm. being really mm-hmm. ungrounded. Well, I want to go back. You said something about, you know, the energy can't run. So for you listeners out there, if you imagine it this way. Just think above your head. You've got what's called the crown chakra. Like chakras are true vortexes of energy. They're they're like these wheels of energy that allow vital life force energy to go through you so you can function properly and at a high level. So as energy comes down through you, if it hits a, a, a kink, right? If something, if there's an energetic line inside of you that's twisted or entangled, that energy will like shoot off of it like a laser. That's how I always think about like it can't flow through you as it wants to and and really is designed to because there are just kinks and entanglements inside of the energetic lines. Just just like as if someone has a blood clot in their circulatory system. Very similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a great analogy. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so with energy mastery, basically we teach how to, you know, master your energy. Like, right. well, what do you mean by that? You know, like how well, like, to master your energy. And basically what I mean by that is, um, to make sure that you're the one who's always in control that other people ne- you know, if there's negativity or mm-hmm. even just like a super high energy person that they don't spin you out, that oh, they don't exhaust good. you, you right. know, uh, to make sure that you always have the energy that you need. Right. To, to, you know, to, uh, to function in your day, to live the active and dynamic mm-hmm. and creative mm-hmm. life that you want to be living. Right. Um, to make sure that uh, disease doesn't have a doorway in. Oh, that's right? so good. Yeah, so many, I mean, the majority of things that are going on in the physical body didn't happen overnight. Yeah, well, we can talk about that. Yeah, Do ahead. you want to talk about that now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, cool. So, well, well let's back up for a second, actually. Let's talk about why healing is important okay um this is because this is something it does like what we're doing does fall under the umbrella of energy healing yes and why that's important it's not just some like woo woo nice to have i want to like bliss out and like (laughs) like have a nice you know session or it's not like that at all um, it's actually something that's really, really necessary. So mm-hmm. why is healing necessary? Mm-hmm. Healing on any level, right. right, is to make sure that you're able to uh, achieve your next level of success. Oh, that's so good. Right. Now, mm-hmm. I know that that might not seem like a, a straight line there, but I can guarantee you that If you want to say, let's just keep it really practical. If you want to achieve a new income in your life or in your business, Mm -hmm. well, there's a reason that you have what you have right now. Yes. And it's going to have to do with your energy and it's going to have to do with your beliefs. And so something on some level needs to be healed in order for you to take that next step. That's so good. I just want to repeat it. It has to do with your energy and it has to do with your beliefs. Because as you are our current listeners, if you've listened to us before, you have heard us say time and time again, what you believe is your truth. And that truth gets embedded at many different energetic levels, not just in this outer field, not just in your body, but in what you create and manifest in your world as well, what you attract around you. Yeah, to clarify what you mean by truth, though, is like the small T. It's like, mm-hmm. it's your beliefs. Exactly. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's the beliefs that you're buying into. That you're and, creating, right. Yeah, and assuming that they're true. Good so just, one there. Yeah, I just want to make I'm sure everybody's clear on that. Um, because that's important, right? If you've decided that, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not good enough, you know, mm-hmm. to, uh, to have that raise or to have that, you know, uh, promotion in my job or, or to, you know, really sell to the, you know, the, the biggest client, the client that I really want. Well, like whatever that is, if you don't believe that you're uh, good enough or worthy enough to do that, that requires to be healed like that piece. Exactly. And there's an energetic com- component it to it. It can be healed. That's the thing. It can be resolved. Oh, Absolutely. There's an energetic com- component to it, and there's also uh, a mental component to that too. So your subconscious and your conscious mind uh, are not playing together, and right. those two need to be able to work together. So consciously, you know, you're saying your affirmations of like I'm I'm smart enough and I'm good enough, and gosh darn it, people <laughs> like me. You're like whatever your yeah, uh, you know whatever your affirmation is, but in your subconscious, there's still those beliefs. Mm-hmm. Well, both of those need to be cleaned up so that they can play together. Right. I love that. That's yeah. great. And that's why mm-hmm. healing is so necessary. And that's why this is an important conversation right. to be having is that some level of healing is always required for the next level for you. Like whatever that is, it's the next level of happiness in your relationship of connectedness. Mm-hmm. It's the next level of parenting for you where you have the energy and the presence mm-hmm. and you really lead from an authentic place and not a forced place. It's the next level in your job or your finances or your career. It's it's the next level in your health. Like right. if you have cycles of in your health that are not productive, you know, if you're seeing chronic illness, chronic fatigue, if you're seeing, uh, you know, things that are just off with that, if you're carrying, you know, 
uh, extra weight that you've been wondering about forever. Like whatever those things are, there are causes behind that that need to be resolved yes. so that you can achieve the next level. That's why healing is important. Right. It really is. And the healing, it's an interesting word. You know, many of us, when we hear this word healing, we're thinking, oh, someone's in hospital or someone's really sick. And sometimes that is the case. Other times, the way I look at it in the context, especially of energy healing, is that you're wanting to get aligned. Like when we are aligned, it's our original, organic, divine state of perfection. Everything's flowing, everything's working, relationships are on par, we're happy, we're positive, our jobs are good, our businesses are good. If if those things aren't aligned, there's something that's off that requires healing, another word is solving, resolution, cleansing, clearing, whatever it is. There's different words, but it's really helping people to get back to that alignment of their highest and best. It's true. Yeah. Like your bright, shiny you Mm -hmm. is really just the simplest way to put that. It's so, it's so true. Yeah. So then we talk about you know, really the the process that unfolds for healing to take place. Oh, yeah. And, you know, this is where it gets really fascinating to me. And just to be clear, like years ago when I first started talking about this, you know, hearing about this healing conversation, I was like, man, like everybody's focused on all this healing. Like, like, let's just, can't we just bypass that? Like, that was kind of my <laughs> thought of like, let's just get on with our lives. Like, who's got time for all this healing? Right. Um, but come to find out it's actually really important because, you know, I, I definitely sabotaged myself a ton uh, throughout, throughout the process. Not anymore, yeah. but I used mm-hmm, to, you mm-hmm. know, a ton before, well, before I had these tools. Right. I, I would sabotage right. myself left and right, not even know why or how Mm -hmm. and the cycles would move so slowly that it was deceiving to think that like oh it's something different it's always something different we'll Mm -hmm. come to find out they're actually the same things coming up in different iterations yeah yeah the same people with different faces and the same you know money issues with a different amount or the same relate like it's just phenomenal what keeps showing up Exactly. So that's where, you know, when I when I finally kind of started to understand this conversation, uh, it, it, then it started to make sense of, oh, there's an actual process to healing. There's something that actually happens here that needs to happen in a specific sequence in order to allow the natural ho- healing process to occur. Mm-hmm. So number one, that's that's the first thing about this is you know, nobody's doing any healing except, you know, you and your body, like that, the, the innate life force, um, the innate intelligence within you is what's actually, uh, be, you know, you're basically getting out of the way so that that can come back Mm -hmm. into alignment and back into harmony. Right. And that's, you know, your, your natural state is perfect health and alignment and your full potential. Like your full potential is your natural state. It's not like something that you work really hard to get to. It's basically you getting out of the way so that you can be who you really are. Yeah, totally. So when we're talking about energy healing, Nick, how do you begin? Where do you dive in? Is there a system? Is there a sequence? Is there internal, external, external, internal? Like what's the best um, pattern here? Yeah, good question. Uh, There is an actual sequence to it. Uh, and it's, it's a formula, like you want to be able to create repeatable results, Mm -hmm. right? So when you've got like an energy healer who, who may be talented at what they do, but they don't know their system or or, or just have their own, you know, system that they've kind of, you know, Mm -hmm. created together or hodgepodge, hodgepodge together, it becomes really difficult to get consistent results. Yeah. It's haphazard. It is. It can be, and it's Mm -hmm. confusing for them. You know, if if you're the person facilitating the healing, like that can be really confusing for you because you're like, well, it worked on this person. Person, like, why didn't it work on that person? And it can also be frustrating for the clients who are like, well, you know, do your thing, but I have no idea what just happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So having an actual formula is important. And the formula is such that it's it has to cover both ends of the spectrum. Right. So right. it has to it has to deal with the outer energetics where you're talking mm-hmm. about like the aura, the chakras, um, and even the physical body, but then also the inner energetics right. of your thoughts and your emotions and those seeds that create your thoughts and emotions. So these thoughts and emotions really, really do. I mean, we say it, right? As you think, so you become, but they really do play a role in your mental, emotional, and physical health. Well, what it does is it creates up a f- it creates a feedback loop oh. um, within your energy. That sounds fancy. It, it is, but if you <laughs> if you think about it like this, okay, let's say you're out and about 
and you're around a bunch of negative people. Ugh. Okay. You just, they're just like complaining mm-hmm. about whatever, you know, and just going on and on. They're like, you know, they just totally want to be stuck in that problem. And they want to gossip about other people. And it just doesn't feel right. Like right. if you're doing your work, you know, like that does not feel right to mm-hmm. be around. Mm-hmm. So when you're around that, you start to take some of that on. You walk away from a situation like that and immediately you might feel like, man, I'm glad I'm out of there. But then you might find like those little lingering things sticking with you, you know, like right. some negative patterns in your own thinking, you mm-hmm. know, or some, some your, you know, that urge to gossip. It's like those things get kind of like stuck to you. Like right. your energy is all around you. You have a field around you mm-hmm. and it's kind of like a windshield where, You know, you're cruising through the world and there's, you know, let's be fair. There's some weird stuff out there. You know, if you just look at like lack or anxiety energy or worry energy, like that stuff's all around. Like all you have to do is walk down the street. It really is. To get some of that on you. Or turn on the TV or open your email or Facebook or something. Right. Well, that's now that's what you're living in. Mm -hmm. Like you're living in this little bubble that is spattered with all of these other all of these other things from the outside that some of it's not yours it's only yours because mm-hmm. y- you decided that you it's yours now mm-hmm. you know so not analytically decided but yeah right at some point yeah good point yeah. Mm-hmm. it's like there's some but somewhere there was a decision that like you bought into that and so now that's part of your field and it, it, you know if you're if you're walking around in a toxic environment it's it's not going to be very long before that makes its way into your body. Yes. Right? Like mm-hmm. if you're a like cold pollution. Pollution, like, yeah. yeah. Like mm-hmm. if you're in a really polluted environment, just breathing polluted air, that is coming into you, that is going to create a problem inside of you. Mm-hmm. So you need to be able to deal with the outer energetics right. in order to just solve all of that all that big stuff and all those things that um that we just don't even acknowledge exists right right? right. but it has so much to do with how you show up and how you feel in your life Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that becomes really really important and and that's that's the part where people just they you see them start to bliss out you know they're like Uh. they're like wow like i didn't know I didn't that know I could I, feel so good. Exactly. Like yeah. I didn't know that mm-hmm. I could feel like this. And then they, their head goes quiet. They start yes. to get quiet in their head and they're like, whoa. You know, I think that's as as being there and helping out and watching, one of the, a couple of the major transformations I would see with people, they started breathing, like fully breathing and their entire face and body and field look different. Like it's so amazing when we get used to seeing one another with that layer of worry or layer of fear, anxiety, or the heaviness of someone else's negative energy. And when that gets peeled off, it's like, oh, there that person is. This is amazing. Yeah, their little scowls start to turn into. (laughs) They're not frowning. And even if you didn't think they were frowners, it's like, they look younger, they feel younger. I mean, it was really amazing to watch that transformation. And we've just seen it so many times. Mm-hmm. And I, I forget how special that is sometimes. It's like, it's so amazing to see that person revealed. Right. You know, it's like, wow, like there you are. Like, I'm right. so happy to see you. It's, I feel like I'm meeting them for the first time, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's so exciting. So that's basically the outer energetics. And, and you know, you can solve so many things. You can solve so many physical challenges. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you can definitely solve, um, fatigue and headaches and all these other kinds of things that creep up because we're just so dense in the outer energetics, you Mm -hmm. know, Mm -hmm. but now here's the thing is that's only half of the equation. So as cool as that is, that's, and that's amazing. Right. That is only half the, half the equation because if you don't solve the other half, then you're going to wind up recreating those things in some way. Well, what's the other half? Well, we'll get to the other half in a second. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Come on, don't leave us hanging. But but what I want to say about that is is that there there are a lot of healing modalities that only solve that piece. This is true. Right? This I know to be true. And so it's cool and... I'm not saying it's without value, not by any stretch. I don't Mm -hmm. want anybody to take Mm -hmm. it the wrong way. Um, But it's to say, it is to say that it's only half the equation. Mm -hmm. So if you only solve the energetic piece of it, your your human, you know, your person or you Mm -hmm. will really only have 
a momentary catharsis Mm -hmm. and then they'll wind up recreating that same problem, you know, and it it can take a long, long time to solve these things Mm -hmm. when you don't have the other side of it. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. When are we getting to the other side? She wants the other side. So the other side is the internal. Right. You have to work from the inside out. So the energetic is so people can imagine you're talking about the external field. Yeah. Your 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 aura, aura. Mm -hmm. which is outside of your your body. You know, there's there's Mm -hmm. different layers to that. You have that you have a health aura you have. And then you have the chakra system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. We use a more advanced chakra system. The seven chakra systems cool and all. um, But there's more to the story. Mm -hmm. So there's a more advanced chakra system. Uh, that is really important, actually, if you want to create total healing. But still, all of that is outer energetics. Okay. Right? And then you have to deal with the internal. Right. And and then work from the inside out. Mm. Right? Does that make sense? Totally. Yeah. So when you're dealing with the internal, here's where you're dealing with thoughts, beliefs, and the emotional patterns oh, yeah. that keep people stuck. Mm. And that absolutely has to get solved because that's what... That's what creates, that's what recreates, recreates, right? You'll wind up Mm -hmm. in the same mess again Mm -hmm. if you don't solve the internal stuff. Right. Got it. I mean, I know my students know when we go through clearing processes and, you know, everything, things are cleared and resolved and then they'll get on a training and say something like, no, you need to erase those words. Like, don't bring it back. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't keep calling that back. Right. I just got caught with that yesterday was it you know Mm. wouldn't we were i was making something heavy like i was making something hard yeah and uh and then i did did and i solved it and then i was like wow but my realization like in my head was like wow i really i make things super hard and not uh, anymore and the mentor was like i used to yeah make things super hard and and, and i caught myself like that's that was basically ooh, like there's that opportunity to call it back right? right And I don't want it. I don't want that back. I'm good. Yeah, totally. So, but what you need to do to have it be most effective is to really be able to diagnose to the root of what that challenge is Mm. internally. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it could be self-judgment. It could be self-worth. It could be, um, could be hiding. It could be, uh, uh, criticism. It it could be, uh, I don't know. What are the, some of the other ones that you've run across? There's so many. Well, I mean, you know, low self-worth, need doubt, to be right. fear, need to be right. Many people, this need to be right is like at an energetic, deep level, need to be right. Nothing's going to work, need to be right. Everything's hard. Um, this is something that permeates many, many people and then creates this like downward draft emotional vibe that's really heavy and debilitating. Yeah. So you can go round and round with all that. But if you if you know what you're doing, you can find the kingpin. Right. And that kingpin is the one that will really help you untangle because essentially what you're looking at in the inner energetics is where everything gets super tangled up. Mm -hmm. So it's like a knot. Mm -hmm. And that's where you wind up with all these double binds like, oh, I want to have more money, uh, but I have serious issues about what I think about rich people. Right. So that's a double bind. Like you say you want one thing and you don't have it. And yet for in order for you to go get that, you have to become something that you don't like, you know, or you judge. Exactly. Exactly. So all sorts of things like that. So it creates this tangled little mess. Mm -hmm. And when it's like when you're untangling, uh, you know, like a a string or something Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and you finally get that one and then it all comes apart. And that's that's exactly what you want to do is unravel that whole piece so that you can come back into harmony. Right. 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 And your full potential without those limiting beliefs. Right. without the negative old emotions right mm-hmm. whatever it is mm-hmm. so that's where all these other things come into play and being able to find that one thing that's most important for you to work on so that everything else can start to come yeah. into harmony so that you're not trying to like you know do an affirmation for like a million different areas of your life or like try to like solve everything all at once like you can just focus on one thing and see amazing results but you have to know how to diagnose what that one thing is. Yeah, because the thing is with affirmations, it's like we were talking about this, there needs to be a cleansing and a clearing before something can be activated or embedded. And it's the same thing like when people are pasting affirmations on their mind, on their subconscious or their field, but things haven't been resolved it gets really murky in there and confusing for the energy body. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Wow. So dealing with that inside piece to really untangle it, you know, there's a specific process to Mm -hmm. verify every step of the way. And it makes sure 
that you stay out of the trickster because now you're in the the subtle realms, the very subtle realms of the um, of the mind. And when you're trying, when you've got a subconscious that is super powerful, mm-hmm. which you often see with with very, especially with very smart people. You know, we tend to attract, for whatever reason, we tend to attract like really bright people. Mm -hmm. Well, as smart as you are on the surface, your subconscious is just as smart. (laughs) So your trickster will do all these amazing things so that you can try to keep your problem. And and I've heard this so many times. They're like, well, why would I want to do that? Why would I want to keep my problem? Yeah. And uh, it just cracks me up because, you know, I certainly ask the same question. But when you really think about it, it's like, well, what's on the other side of that problem is a new way of being and doing and having and existing in your life oh, yeah. that's going to make your current identity, your current personality, very uncomfortable. Oh, okay. You know, okay. so the trickster kind of steps yeah. in yeah. to keep you from solving what needs what really needs to be solved. But it's totally solvable. A hundred percent. Yeah. When you have yeah. the tools and when you have a process mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. to check, you know, like, oh, am I am I getting into the trickster? Am I getting ungrounded? you know, what's happening here so that I can really stay on track to solve this Mm -hmm. so that you can do it for yourself and you can do it for other people as well, which is always, you know, really exciting, like more for everybody. Yeah. And I think, you know, from my perspective, we all know what it feels like when our body isn't well or when our body is injured. It's so easy to go like, oh, I'm sick or I've been hurt. But when the emotional body or the mental body isn't well, when there's this mental negative self-doubt chatter going on, or when the emotions are of a low vibratory nature, it is as devastating as when the body is not well. So being able to resolve all of that with energy, which is what we all are and everything is, it's it's pretty, pretty magical. It really is. But it's also science. I mean, yeah. there are definitely technologies that I, you know, I know we'll use them for the rest of our lives. A hundred percent. Yeah. And, and keep refining them because mm-hmm. there's, there's always more to be discovered and more to be revealed, which right. is so exciting. Exactly. And, and every step of the way you have more energy, you have more resiliency, you yeah. have more, like more You're happiness. More of you, you yeah. know, it's like being you 2.0, not affected by the world, not being stressed out like everyone else is, you know, just really being grounded, focused, concentrating, purposeful, like taking the world by the storm. It's just incredible. Yeah, but doing it, but this is the best part is like all of that and being happy and <laughs> like, being happy and having fun, yeah, you know, and totally. having joy in your life. Mm-hmm. Like those things are really, that's your, that's your real, like your full potential self is not like got a scowl on. Right. I can, I can guarantee it, you know, like your full potential is joyful and, joyful. and having fun and, and doing things that you love and doing them with great attention and care, right, you know, completely. Well, so for those people who are listening, you're like, wow, this is the coolest thing ever. How do I learn it? What, what do we suggest for them? Well, number one, uh, is there's a link on this page and mm-hmm. just go click it out. There's a form. Um, mm-hmm. We only take a, a limited number of people through at a time right. because we want to make sure that everybody really gets the attention that they deserve. Mm-hmm. You know, it is an intensive. Mm-hmm. And so making sure that you're really grounded in the tools before you leave that two day is really important to us because yeah. the worst thing ever would be for you to leave and just not use it. Right. You know, like that, right. that's totally not the point. So we mm-hmm. want to make sure that you're integrated enough with it that you can take it out Mm -hmm. and really start to explore yourself. So we only take a limited number of people through. um, And and somewhere on this page, on the podcast page, is uh, is a form to fill out is a is a link to fill out a form. Cool. And you go fill out the form. Fill it out. Nick will hop on the phone with you or shoot you an email and then you'll know if it's the right step for you. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'll I'll I'll, I speak with everybody personally. And then if you're not interested in being an energy master, which is really pretty cool. Um, just check out our videos that we always have going as well. You know, there are tips for eliminating negative stress, and that's a great place to start. Totally. It'll yeah. get you a feel for some of the some of the basic fundamentals. Right. And I can tell you, like, we shared in those videos tools that are just so incredibly powerful. Again, right. there are layers and layers to them. We could literally teach a whole intensive just on one of those tools right. and and different ways to use it in your life and everything like that. So y- the idea is to take those things and just really play with them, you right. know, to, to let yourself have an experience for it that, you know, maybe there's a next step for you. Maybe there's not like e- either way is totally cool. My personal feeling is that every human should have access to those oh, tools. So like, so great. you know, just go get them and play with them. Yeah, That's why yeah. people don't know how old I am. 
they don't they freak out it's so funny well, they don't me too but yeah yeah i know you don't yeah we're not but i'm getting some there. gray yeah in the it's a good thing nick's getting gray but you know the energy piece will slow that down but yeah we both look really young for ages so yeah <laughs> you look amazing like one of the big reasons yeah i always get that though is me too with the mm-hmm, mm-hmm. oh like you're how old you know and, yeah and i'm like yep. it's funny so i have a youthful i have a youthful uh you know, personality like you like you yes. have a very sparkling personality you are the kisma so at the end of the day energy is everything And so when we realize that and we are energy, it's like, wow, what a great place to start to heal, to solve, to resolve, to clear, and to really find that alignment that is so important with whatever it is you want to do out there. Lead your family, lead your business, be a coworker, be a teacher, a nurse, doctor, lawyer, whatever it is. Like when you're aligned and when you have the sense of being healed and really purposeful, there's nothing like it. Yeah. It's not called energy healing. It's called energy mastery. Energy mastery. Because the goal of the entire the entire point of it is to master your energy. And when you master your energy, you're you master the world. You master the way that you show up in yeah. every situation in every area of your life. Uh, you master your ability to hold yourself in your highest, no matter what the circumstance. So good. So Go ahead and get the free videos, Eliminate Stress. Or if you're really interested, hey, we're so much fun to hang out with in San Diego. You would be certified to do this on yourself or other people, especially if you're already a healer, yoga teacher, whatever. Just fill out that application. And most importantly, everyone, you know, look for the highest and best in whatever you do, because that really, really does elevate who you are and how you are being. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. All right. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste.